Hey, what's up YouTube? So, I'm back here with another video on El Capitan, and I kind of wanted to go through my five favorite or five noticeably new things for you guys uh, that I've noticed in the release and that you guys will be seeing. A few of them are obvious, a couple of them are um, kind of tedious. So, uh, the first one that I kind of wanted to get into is the font, the San Francisco font that Apple introduced a little while ago on the Apple Watch. So, obviously, it's not new, new, but it is new to Mac OS and it really gives a nice um, feel to the text. You guys can see here, I've just got an example open for you, um, and you can even see just in the system wide how it fits. I really like it, even in the calendar views, when you go into applications, you can really see the difference. The text is just clearer to read, uh, spaced properly, and I'm really happy with the design that Apple has done for that. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, one of the second things I wanted to point out was the split mode view and the way um, applications can be placed side by side. So I'm just going to um, pull two finder windows here just as the example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold. Uh, you know, you got to do it correctly. Uh, press and hold so that I'll be able to choose side to side and from here I'd be able to select each application. Now I can actually resize these so if I'm, you know, if I have say a Twitter client open here or even an internet page and I could have a file browser right next to it, notes, uh, so many different options that you have with this. It's just, you know, neatly placed here within your mission control and I really love the split screen mode that has been included. So that was just one of the things I wanted to throw out um, as a number two of my top favorites that have been uh, changed. Another thing was, of course, as we've all seen before, the two wallpapers now that are being featured. I really hope Apple, you know, not only hears me, but is listening to a lot of users when I say it's time to update some of the previous wallpapers that have been included with Mac OS for years and years. So it'd be really nice to see them do something a little more than just, you know, two or three scene drops where they would actually include a full wallpaper package that uh, we would want to use again because I just find the standard ones to be um, very boring. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not minding this one with the blue. It's actually pretty nice. So uh, when you combine the blue with the blue black, let's see how it looks. Yeah, so that it's pretty nice. And again, you can see the system font there. So that's kind of another thing. Um, that one's a little more obvious. And as we go along, there'll be some more images to come out. The next one is the mission control feature, so obviously it's still the same, but it does have a new animation and it allows the split screen mode and all of that, so just to show you guys what I mean by it's different, um, we're just going to open up an application now before I would have had to swipe up into my mission control, now I can just grab an application, drag it up and mission control will appear, so just like that, and then with the mission control now I can drag up still a little laggy, drag up and then I can drop an item and just like you've seen there I'm able to pull items down even if they were in split screen mode. I'm also able to create split screen mode here and then readjust. So that's the new launch pad, it's, uh, or mission control, sorry, not launch pad. And I really do like the added kind of features here. Um, it does kind of change the OS up a little bit so that is, you know, that's something that we can all really enjoy. Now another one, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show it, but it is Metal and I want to talk about Metal just a little bit. Uh, Metal is an OpenGL replacement or OpenCL replacement and it's uh, the best way to describe it is Metal to the chip. So this is going to be great for gamers. This is really going to bring the Mac into the PC era where before most or most games were created for the PCs and the Macs really had integrated graphics cards or you know no option to customize or really be targeted to gamers where now Apple can really create some really cool well developers can create some really cool games for the Apple platform and that is going to allow games to run smooth crisp right on the MacBook you already have 
Um, the lowest edition is the one I'm sitting on right now, so basically if you have anything from mid-2012 and up, your MacBook will support the metal. Uh, mine is an Intel HD 4000 graphics card. Uh, you could have the Intel HD 5000, the Intel HD 4000, and of course you 15-inch Mac or MacBook Pro users, um, iMac users, and the Mac Pro users with the dedicated graphics cards will definitely benefit from metal as well. So uh, you guys will be seeing that in um, applications even like Photoshop and Final Cut Pro, Compressor, so a lot of things are going to take advantage of metal and games as well, which is going to be the biggest thing for the Mac OS release in a little while. It's, it's kind of nice to be able to see that. So um, another thing that I noticed is kind of um, a mediocre thing, but a lot of people have talked about it, and so I just wanted to throw it in there was the change of disk utilities. Now disk utilities has uh, many reasons to change. The biggest one being uh, the new Kex signing with rootless security. A lot of the system files that were accessible before, no not. So uh, a lot of people went looking for disk repair and disk repair function is no longer available. I was asked um, if Apple had removed certain features like the ability to uh, put in RAID. Uh, you know, definitely not. Uh, you will still be able to use a RAID. Um, you'll be able to configure, erase, and I even have a flash drive here that I can plug in as an example and you can see the different options that you'll get just right off the bat. If my flash drive will work, here we go. So this one I just had as a Windows install, but basically what happens is, is you can come up here, you can do erase, you can choose the different formats, There's still the secure option. So basically it's just a change in the disk utility all on its own, uh, just the new look, a new feel, some removed features that are no longer necessary, and nothing to worry about here, so if you guys were kind of worried about I definitely had a comment about the uh, the raid, and I checked. I'm not going to run a raid in this in this tutorial, but uh, it's there for sure. Another a bunch of few other things too. Like I want to throw out there, um, the mail application has gotten a lot of new features. The notes application has gotten a complete rewrite and is going to be on its own, worth its own video, as you can draw and a whole bunch of other things adding media to the notes and stuff like that as well as littler things like across the contacts and the calendar so Apple has definitely improved a few things here and there but have generally kept to the uh, what you would remember as the Mac 10.0 or 10.96 Snow Leopard release where they're focusing more on the speed and stability of the system so there's not a lot much more to really show you guys. Those are going to be kind of the things that stand out to you. Uh, that's why I chose five, kind of threw a few more in there just to, you know, add to it. Uh, if you guys wanted me to cover anything else on the Mac OS um, El Capitan, please let me know. I can definitely do a demo of different things. I know I didn't cover everything in this video, but there's a lot to cover if you really go through every feature, so I just wanted to keep it short. Uh, thanks for watching guys, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more El Capitan videos, uh, Mac OS videos, iOS, jailbreaking, and all sorts of cool stuff. Thanks for watching, great. See ya.